It's Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Let's talk about the news. From the Associated Press, South Sudan shutters all schools as it prepares for an extreme heat wave. The South Sudanese government has closed all schools in the country to prepare for a wave of extreme heat that is expected to blanket the country for about two weeks. Temperatures are expected to reach about 113 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 45 degrees Celsius, and the government has said that any schools that remain open during this period will lose their operation registration, though they didn't specify how long they would need to remain closed. South Sudan experiences heat waves on a fairly regular basis already, but the impacts of climate change have left them prone to more extreme and long-lasting versions of the same in recent years. From the Wall Street Journal, Intel gets $8.5 billion award for U.S. chip plant construction. The U.S. government has announced a grant of up to $8.5 billion for U.S. chipmaker Intel to support their planned expansion across four states. This is the largest grant provided so far from the $53 billion Chips Act Fund, which was set aside in 2022 in order to build out the U.S.'s local chipmaking infrastructure, which is meant to bolster the economy, but also national security, as the country would be less prone to disruption of foreign-based chip plants. Intel's total investment in this expansion is expected to hit around $100 billion, over the next five years, and this round of expansion will result in new infrastructure in Arizona, New Mexico, Ohio, and Oregon. And from Reuters, Vietnam's president resigns, raising questions over stability. Vietnam's president, Va Van Thuong, resigned yesterday, the nation's ruling Communist Party accepting his resignation and saying that he had violated party rules, which negatively impacted the reputation of the party and country. Tuong was elected about a year ago, and though president of Vietnam is a largely ceremonial position, it's still one of the top four most important political roles in the country. This resignation landed at a moment in which the government is attempting to address widespread corruption with a much-vaunted anti-bribery campaign, though this campaign is reportedly being used by those in power to take out their enemies. So it's an overall tumultuous period for Vietnam, even as they attempt to make themselves more appealing to foreign investors that are looking for regional manufacturing alternatives to China. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.